Hello and welcome to the show. We are back on automation today. I am going to be building a sports car. I'm going to try though and build a... We're going to use the LMP style body because I fancy trying to build kind of a road going race car. But I'm going to try and make it a relatively... And I say this because I know exactly how my plans always end up changing when I do this. But I'm going to try and make a relatively efficient, a relatively usable everyday LMP car. Because to me, that sounds like a brilliant idea. Who doesn't want a nice, reliable, you know, decent miles a gallon LMP car to drive on the roads? So that's what we're going to go and do. I'm also going to, just for a little bit of challenge to myself, because I've not really played around with this, I'm going to set it to, shall we set it? We'll set it for 2,000. So um, we're going to, actually, no, let's, go, let's go a little earlier. We'll go for the year that I was born in, 1992. There we go. So we're going to try and build a car that is a, kind of like a Mark One MX-5 sort of rival-ish, uh, only we're going to have it based with an LMP body, because why on earth not? Uh, it looks like an incredible go-kart in this. I want to race this on its own. All right, let's not get distracted. I'm not going to waste too much time going through all of this. Uh, so we're going to try and make the car... Uh, we're going to try and make the car efficient. We're going to want it to be light. Lightness is good when it comes to efficiency. So shall we go for... We can go for fiberglass or we can go for partial aluminium. Uh, fiberglass is not quite as safe, but it is lighter and cheaper. Uh, or, yeah, aluminium safer but more expensive. We'll go for lightness. Maximum lightness. Uh, we are going to go for a monocoque as well. Yeah, we'll go for that now. Chassis material, ideally carbon fibre, but, of course, carbon fibre very, very expensive. So we perhaps might not go for that one. We might go for corrosion-resistant steel. Uh, engine, we're going to have mid-engine longitudinal. We might just change it depending on how the engine fits into the car. Now, we all have got a sports car here, so we do want some sportiness in all of this. Uh, let's go for double wishbone. Again, push rod suspension, great. Expensive, though. Um, very time-consuming and even more uh, intrusive and so on. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with double wishbone for now. Let's uh, jump get the body on the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need the body to be wider. Uh, oh, ah, so that's how wide the wheels can go. Not necessarily how wide the wheels are. Let's go and make these a little bit on the wider side, like so, so that we can get some lovely big wheels. Uh, or lovely big tyres on the car. That's not necessarily good for fuel economy, because there'll be more friction, but it will be good for sportiness. You know, you've got to play the uh, you've got to play the, the the figures overall. We can the bloody hell! I found the offensive blue. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy offensive blue. Uh, I didn't think, I don't not notice it being that bright on other cars. Oh, we're outside the workshop. Come back. You know what? We'll build an offensive blue one. Um this time uh, this time around. Now, headlights. A little bit more awkward to work on this. I might actually do grills first. A little bit more awkward to work on this car, of course. Um while the Saxo thing I built was horrendous. Um that it wasn't kind of helped by the the, the limitations of uh kind of the body frame. Now this is, you know, a much better looking body frame to begin with, although just general placements of stuff is a little tougher because there is, well, a lot of kind of sloped surfaces around the uh, around the area. I kind of want some vents maybe along here. Yeah. Um, kind of looks a little bit like the I think in terms, I think the Ford the Ford that I saw at Goodwood, I can't remember the name of it. C100... I don't know, it was a Group C car. And I can't remember the name. It was a Ford something or other. Um, that Having that grill in the middle, I'd actually know if I got the mouse turned on, so I don't know why... We, I'd, <laughs> I'd turn the mouse off for most games, but this one here is, is helpful to have the, the mouse cursor. I say turn the mouse off. I have the mouse on, of course. I have the cursor turned off in the recording, because normally it just gets in the way and is distracting. But uh, this game is actually one of the few places where it is helpful to have it on, and I'm not sure if I've done it or not. So I apologise. Um... Yeah, I'll I'll just try to do a better job of explaining where I am, but where where I am pointing. I actually don't dislike those. I wasn't sure about that, but that, that, that that's okay by me. Uh, lights. Now I don't know how the lights are going to work on this vehicle. Actually, could be interesting. Oh, good old R two D two lights. Can't go wrong with the good old R two D two lights uh, on here. Um, actually, that doesn't look terrible. I do like the way that um, the lights now fit into the into the body. Uh, very 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 neatly. Uh, oh, we could go for. I've got an idea. Uh, I've got uh, an idea whether it's going to work or not, whether it's going to look any good or not, I don't know. So yeah, rather than having kind of like the lights sticking out here, it will then mould them to fit into the body. Uh, I'm not sure I like that. 
I, just, <laughs> I, I, I set out, before I started doing this video, I set out, and my plan was not to spend quite as long faffing around with everything like I always do. And guess what? I'm going to spend ages faffing around with everything. It's part of the fun of automation. Um, it is part of the fun of this. Actually, I don't horrendously dislike those lights. What's going on? I'm, I'm relatively satisfied with that. It's actually not a terrible looking car. For now. Uh, there, there is still plenty of time. Don't worry. There is plenty of time for me to make it into a hideous mobile. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to get some more vents up here as well. Just to keep that racing theme going. Ooh, can we get some like vents on the side here? Does it look totally... Uh, I'm not sure it really fits in there very well. Oh, we've got blinky, blinky, glitchy. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's not forget, people, this is still in... Um, this is still the beta for the Unreal Engine version of the game. So there may be the odd little blinky, glitchy weirdness going on from time to time. I'm sure it'll be uh, all fixed out before this is kind of in its full release. This has been in, this has been in development for a, a fair while, this game, but there's been lots and lots of updates. Uh, it's uh, lots and lots of updates over the course of its, uh, of its development. I am liking this this unreal engine version of it very very good looking game and uh runs very run, runs very well i haven't had too many issues with uh, with crashes and so on from it uh for yeah for quite some time now which is always nice i'm just kind of thinking of different places i can put some vents in to add some interest to what is well a fairly plain side of the car uh we could have one there yeah why not bugger it it can stay we'll do something with the back of the car because uh, there is a very, very... Let's get taillights in first. There's, a, there's just a lot of empty space on the back of this car. <laughs> a lot of just completely flat, blank, empty space. Now, if we go for some decent-sized taillights here, and then we'll go for a number plate in the middle, which we can do now. I do like the number plate bit as well. Uh, number plate in... Oh, piss. I didn't mean to delete them completely. I just meant to get off the options that I was on. I've got to, got to try and remember the uh, controls again it's kind of right click mouse to confirm placement and that that does it um it's yeah me being dumb really is uh, is what it is uh i think we went for do i like those ones or do i like the ones with the lines in it i think i like the ones with the lines in it to be honest and make them bigger i don't know if we can i mean i guess you'd have the Storage, I was going to say the boot, but I mean, the engine's going to be around the back, isn't it? So the storage will be in the front. And I've got all the vents at the front, just for sort of visual look, really. We've got to have some vents at the back as well, because it's a mid-engined car. And un unless things have changed, I don't quite know how this, uh, this, all of this stuff here works. So we'll get some of these on the go. We'll just get a big old vent at the back. Yeah, and then if we go for a... Ooh, what do we want? Maybe we'll go for one of these instead of the kind of the curved ones. We'll keep up the... Keep up the look back here. Yeah, I'm okay with those. We'll have that. And then we've got to get exhausts in the car as well. I say we have to. You don't actually technically have to, but I will get uh, exhaust tips. Uh, oh, can we? We can have the... Where have you gone? I've lost it. Well, there's an exhaust somewhere. Where did it go? Did I delete it? Yeah, who knows? Oh, do we go... <laughs> I quite like having my... Um, quite like going for different different styles of exhaust on cars shall we go for shall we go for the ferrari 458 and go for like three central ones last time we had the callaway sledgehammer style of four exhausts now we're going to go with a uh oh could we <laughs> just think, could we go for a silly positioning of exhausts uh possibly i guess we could have like one at each corner and one at the middle no you know what we'll stick with we'll stick with that i actually don't dislike the back of that car now I'm I'm pleased with my work so far. What's going on? It's not like me to be pleased with my work. <laughs> uh, I mean, admittedly, the last car I it started going, it started being ugly, and then I kind of just went crazy with the, the ugliness. It's one of those things. Like I I do play around with this game from time to time, just get a rough idea of what I'm what I'm doing. But I tend to uh, like when I start when I start filming when I start you know doing something I end up just making stuff up really as i go along and if it starts going down a wrong path i kind of just end up rolling with it and we'll see what happens Ooh, we've kind of got a spoiler i can never get the spoilers to really work i mean that kind of worked but i can never really get them to work how i want them to uh, on here uh, i mean is that gonna work no not really We'll get rid of them. We won't back around with uh, spoilers. I bet the wing's not going to work either on this car. I mean, but all the body styles, this one here would surely be the most likely to 
Like, you just I can't get the wings to go up. There might be a way to do it, and I apologise if there is a way to do it, but I can't get the wings to work at the moment. Uh, mirrors we don't need to worry about because the car's got them. We will grab a fuel cap, and uh, I guess we'd want to put it somewhere up here, wouldn't we? Uh, ooh, what we could do as well. Again, I'm just thinking that I'm trying to make sure that there isn't big um, areas with nothing going on because that's, uh, yeah, not, uh, not ideal deal really so let's get some vents up along here uh yeah sort of just like flat flat plain bodywork is a little bit on the uh, on the dull side so let's get some let's get some vents going on i kind of want a do we want something like that oh they're not really big enough are they go away uh can i do double don't know we're gonna find out can i double up on one of these uh, let's try and spin it around so I can have kind of two vents going. Uh, I don't, th I don't think I can. That's just aligning it differently. Uh, yeah, I was hoping we could have like two. Oh crap! I kind of want that to go along the length of the car. Is that possible? Up like that? Yeah, I quite like that actually. Oops, wrong way. Extend it that way. Oh, careful now. Maybe not quite that much. And then just wriggle it up there. That'll do. Oh, it's a little bit skew. Is it a little bit skew with? That might actually be in the center. No, it isn't. It's kind of locking itself to there, but I don't know what. Oh, probably because I cocked up one of these. Center, center. Don't actually know what half of these things do. I'm just now clicking buttons. You know what? You can stay there. <laughs> just uh, that, 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 that'll be a thing there. And I might then try and get some. Uh, what other vents do we want? Some other vents? What are these ones like? Uh, no, not sure. Again, I'm. I like the shape, but you'd have to make them so big, and I think it would just lose something in being giant. Uh, can we spin them? Uh, come on! I, I want you to. Ah, bloody hell! I want you to kind of face that way, and then make them bigger. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about these ones particularly. Oh, bloody hell! And uh, no, maybe we'll get rid of it. Maybe we'll just keep it like that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think we're. Fairly happy with all of that. We'll stick a badge on the front and a badge on the uh, back. Yeah, why not? It can sit that side of the number plate. I haven't got a number plate on the front of the car either, have we? Where on earth are we going to put a number plate on this? Uh, I guess we could kind of have it somewhere like up in here. Can we make it a decent sort of size? Sure, you know what? Why not? We'll have a... <laughs> Have a little bit lopsided. Actually, uh, again, I don't dislike that. Right. Okay. That will be our car done for now. I'm sure we'll think of something. Uh, oh, wheels. Uh, I didn't actually know we could do wheels at this point in time. And, like, none of I guess they're good enough for me. Uh, they're about the only ones I like. Right. Engines. What do we go for? Do we go for... I mean, we could go for a sort of full-on MX-5 area. Go for a nice inline four. Um... Yeah, we might. I'll give it a try. I tend to build, you know, V8s and V6s and so on. I've not really built much in the way of an inline four. Again, we'll keep cost down. We'll go for a cast iron base bit, but we'll go for an aluminium head. We want to go for. We want to go for, again, a relative. We don't want to go, like, too absurdly crazy. We want to go for. And uh, so all of these are bad for emissions. I'm guessing just because, well, it's an engine. Uh, it's bad for emissions. Um, I guess we want less friction, don't we? We want as little friction as we can get, really. So we have dual overhead cams. And uh, the 5 E's. Uh, no, hold on. Uh, right, so they're all... Uh, no, my, I'm misreading the graphs. Well. They're all the same for emissions. Uh, so... We get more emissions with two, less with five, and better uh, RPMs the same, but of course five is more expensive. We'll go for the middle ground, we'll go for four. And then we'll go for an aluminium head, we can't have any of that. What size engine do we want to go for? Do we want to go for a... we'll go for about a two litre engine. We'll go for a shorter stroke, get a little bit more RPM. Uh, I think that's the way around it goes, yeah it is. Engine still perfectly fine to fit in the car, you would expect that uh, that it would be... Now, let's have a look. We can get... Uh, let's go for forged steel. Again, we'll go for middle ground in some of these. We want a little bit of performance, uh, but we don't want to go too horrendously expensive. Um, let's go for forged... Again, we'll go for forged, I think. Yeah, we'll go for forged there. And then we want... Maybe we'll go for... We can go for... I don't even know what that means. Uh, <laughs> cast. It's a different sort of casting. Uh, low friction, but it's not so good for the actual engine power. Good for 
other stuff, I think. Um, again, I think we'll just we'll stick with the the middle ground. Stick with the middle ground for now on that one. We'll leave all of that stuff. Uh, we'll come back to variable valve time and we'll stick that on. Uh, that's good. We'll come back to things like compression and cam profile, etc. later. Now, do we want to go naturally aspirated or do we want to go for a turbocharger? Uh, let's go turbo for now. We'll stick it on economy for, again, for now. We might come back and change all of that. Um, we're probably going to want some sort of intercooler on there. Air, air, medium. For now, again, it's not going to be a crazy, crazy turbo. We will want injection, multiple injection, throttle per cylinder, performance stuff. Uh, that would be the kind of normal, normal road fuel that uh, we'd have the cars on. Headers, uh, single exhaust, none of that. And now we are, of course, we want a, a catalytic converter. That becomes quite expensive, but probably a good idea. So let's go for it. And we're going to want a... Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, we're going to want a reversed, a reversed flow over... Uh, you're going to show me a comparison. There we go. You are going to show me a comparison. Thank you. Um, yeah, we'll go for a reversed flow. Now, engine-wise, we have got a little bit of knocking going on. Engine knocking, considering... Uh, Engine is knocking, reducing engine performance, zero low compression, etc. Now becomes the fun and games of play around with the sliders. Uh, we've currently got like 18 miles to the gallon, which is not quite what, uh, what we want from the car. We would like a little bit... Uh, a little bit more than <laughs> more than that even when i try building bloody economy cars it never me and economy cars never really work out is that one <laughs> 1. 1.5 miles to the gallon right so let's drop this down a little bit uh cam profile will go for now the, the thing is that we've got have got going on here is insane i say insane turbo lag um we have like 20 horsepower from there it goes up to a it, it, yeah <laughs> not much horsepower below about 4000 rpm we don't really get much of uh, much of that on the go um we can have but this is basically the the i'm not really sure what i'm doing with the turbos i'm going to be honest with you this is i think slightly different to how i was how i seem to remember it. there we go we can get rid of all the turbos and then we have uh, <laughs> no problem with lag uh mac we <laughs> Four, that's a lot of PSI going in there. Um, can we even get away with that much PSI and have this engine ever survive it? I don't think we can. Uh, <laughs> right, let's not prat around so much with that, with that one. So ooh, that gives us happier economy, but uh, not so happy elsewhere. Ugh. I have no idea. See, that's with the economy one. I go for a performance one. I mean, it's just changing it within the kind of settings that we have there. Uh, these are generally better, just more expensive. That gives us slightly better the old fuel economy. Right, let's stop farting around with those. If we can go for a... You want to find a nice sort of middle ground. Oh, I saw a 19 point something in there. 19, everything else is happy. Yeah, okay, we'll stick with that. Um, RPM, uh, we got six out of it. It's fine for that. Uh, let's go. Oh, can we get can we get to the giddy heights of twenty miles a gallon? That would be nice. Now I do know that what I'm changing around in here. Oops, see, that's a little bit too much. Uh, there was a nice little sweet spot there, where everything is okay. Nothing is breaking down. I mean, it's not the ma most massively powerful engine that I've ever built. I'll be honest. Uh, can we get a little? I want a little bit more power out of it. Okay, we'll have about 170 horsepower, and maybe. We can sneak it up a little bit here. Come on, we want a little bit more. Oops, that's just a smidge too much. Right, now let's have a... Okay, I'll go leave the rest of it as it is, and then we'll try and get maybe... Uh, what is causing the knocking if we do that? Our engine is knocking, can consider lowering the compression. Uh, oh, we're completely buggered it up in terms of any sort of fuel economy oh, it's completely buggered uh, okay well that that's okay I'm, I'm happy with 170 ish horsepower in this let's face it it's more than the mx5s were uh were getting i guess we can probably go a little bit more here i don't know because that's then completely and utterly uh scuppers any chance of uh our, there we go right quickly quickly um exhaust diameter what do we what can we get away with on this you kind of want it as small as possible while not restricting the flow in any way oh, let me jump it all the way to the bloody top and down there will work blah blah that'll do 
uh, airflow restrictions caused by the turbine. I don't, we'll have a look at, um, I guess, uh, the... I've forgotten the name of it. The, the cooling, essentially. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not a bad sounding engine. Um, yeah, I don't quite know what it means. Oh, I know what it means by turbine. It's the in the in the turbo, the tur the yeah in this bit here. I have turbines. So I guess if we put that up. It will do something. Um, oh crap! I need an undo button. <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> no, I think there was an undo button at one point, but uh, I can't remember quite. Oh, I completely caught that one up. More power, more power until it breaks it, and then one less. There we go. It's good. Oh, we're 17 bloody miles a gallon. I'm hoping, though, that when we go through some of the other settings, we will be okay. I say we'll be okay. Right, rear-wheel drive. We want manual. Uh, we want a five-speed gearbox. We want a top speed. Let's go you know, 150 as a, a possible, possible thing. We'll go for a geared uh, limited slip differential. Now, we are going to be wanting... I guess we don't really want to be going for semi circle sports. I guess we want to go for medium. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, it does actually improve the drivability over the... I assume it might somewhere. Some... Really? Is that the biggest tyres? I can... That doesn't seem right to me. They... They... <laughs> There's something wrong with that. Because that should definitely... I mean, we saw the size of the tyres it had on to begin with. I don't know why that's done that. Oh, it's completely cocked up that as well now. Uh, go back. Uh, spin that. Oh, God. Spin that around. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that because that's a bit too on the... Oh, that seems to have broken as well. Okay. Well, we've completely we completely buggered all of that up. Uh, so ignore the wheels because they're, I think, broken, quite frankly. Um, that should allow me to put bigger tyres than that. Oh, there we go. Now it is. Uh, maybe I just got another setting wrong somewhere. Uh, it's a little bit better. I still want bigger rear tyres. Uh, okay, so if we get bigger... Ah, maybe we'll do something in there as well. 265s all around. So maybe we have a bigger tyre diameter. That lets us then go for bigger... Yeah, there we go. That's that's how we do it. Part of it, at least, as well as you know, making sure the body's wide. Uh, we might have slightly, go for slightly smaller front tyres. There we go. Not maybe not great for the uh, again for the for the friction for the what's it called um, fuel economy etc. Alloy on there. Continue right. So we're going to want plenty of discs at the front. We'll go with two. We'll go for solid discs and one at the back. Because again, we've got to remember this is not a too crazy a uh, race vehicle. It's still going to be a relatively fast, well, hopefully relatively decent sports car. But this isn't a pure track car, is it? Uh, brake bias, uh, we'll go for at 56% front. Does it actually tell you, uh, it doesn't tell you any, how it affects anything. Right, so we're going to want a, hmm, I assume this helps with aero? Because again, you can make the car very, very aerodynamic, and uh, that is very helpful. So if we go put this down to fairly... Uh, well, I say about as small as we can get. You want it to be as little as possible. Leave a little bit of space for some brake air flow in there. Uh, let's have a look. So cooling capacity, 267. So if we just go... Oh, God. Uh, we'll go for three, uh, 29. And then we'll give that about 50. And then that should give us some margin for error. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, seats could only have two. We're going to go with a. Oh, wait, let's see what's what's lighter. Basic is fairly light. Uh, sport. We'll, we'll go with we'll go with sports. It's going to be a sports car, and it's decent decent enough. Um, yeah, we'll go with basic stuff on here. Power steering. Uh, variable hydraulic is lighter option. Again, no no traction control. We don't want any of that on any of our cars. Um, we will have... I will go with basic safety stuff as well. Try and save weight. Um, springs. Now, do we go for... I mean, I want sportiness. None of these are better than kind of standard, so we'll go with standard. We want as much sportiness as we can get. We'll go with adaptive dampers, sure. Um... 
again, my car kind of goes, whoop, but it kind of becomes undrivable when it gets to uh, 50 miles an hour, I think. <laughs> it's a slight bit, a bit more oversteery than my other one, which I guess is progress. Uh, we'll go with, of course, sport. Ah, that's what we want. Maybe. We'll go with sport. So, <laughs> 50 miles an hour, you go massively sideways. I'm cool with that. <laughs> It's oh, it's gone up to twenty three, but I can't build economical cars. Like it just doesn't it doesn't work for me in uh, any way, shape, or form. Um, yeah, it just it doesn't it doesn't happen. <laughs> Should have just focused on going for outright speed. Uh, downforce isn't huge. Its top speed is one hundred and thirty four miles an hour. Not sixty seven point six seconds. So it's kind of in keeping with the MX five vibe that I went for. It's just I can't get the, the miles a gallon on the vehicle up in any way, shape, or form. Uh, detail stats. Let's have a look at the statistics of the car. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure I've done a great job with the engine of this one. Sportiness, suspension and so on is, is good. The handling is not so good. Uh, let's have a look at uh, markets. Yeah, I'm not sure this is a really a successful successful vehicle is no nope. no one is really it's not quite in the right kind of category sport uh budget perhaps uh would be a category it reckons track is certainly not track premium it's not a convertible either it's it would kind of be vaguely around that area but it's it's not good enough as a I think we've got to go. We've got to go quickly. We've got to fix this. We've got to fix this by ignoring trying to be efficient and let's just go crazy with sport. Um, right. So we've got two. Uh, this is going to tell me. Right. So we'll, we'll up the compression, but we'll sort out the ignition timing. Turn that back down again. Maybe it's too much in terms of the compression uh, over there. Let's. Oh God. Are we gonna? Right, I want more speed now out of you. We've given up caring about any hope of economy. We're just going to go for brutal, I say brutal power. Uh, I'm not sure I'm even going to be able to do much about that because uh, if we, uh, no, cause that's just going to blow the engine to bits. Uh, doesn't, I don't think, there we go. I say brutal power. It's about 200 horsepower in this car, but we'll make it a little bit quicker and then hopefully that'll make it a little bit more appealing to uh, to a category of some sort. 204 horsepower. That's uh, more like it. 207. I mean, it has got a little bit of, say got a little bit of turbo lag. It's, it's not really going to do much until you get to about 3,000 RPM. I've basically built a, <laughs> built a rotary. <laughs> it does nothing until 3,000 RPM. Then it doesn't really do too much until four or 5,000. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite go as it doesn't go high enough because I've probably not got good enough bits inside the car. Yeah, after about six thousand seven hundred, it just dies. Um, yeah, I've not done a great job on this car. It looks cool. I'm actually very, very pleased with the way that it's turned out visually wise. Ah, that's more like it. I think more like it. Two hundred seventeen horsepower. Yeah, visually wise, I'm quite happy with it. Engine wise, I'm not sure I've got it particularly right here. Uh, Two twenty one. It's yeah, as you go a little bit more, we'll keep going with that then. Uh, so it's, again, it's knocking. Uh, can we, if we just ever so, oh god, wrong way with, uh, it's actually now it's starting to take a little bit slowly to uh, react to some of the adjustments I'm trying to make on it. It's a little bit of a pain. Eh, that's better. Um, I say it's better, it's, it's certainly faster. Uh, we've got some top speed and whatnot going on. Uh, how is our handling going? Is it still a hey, big oversteer? <laughs> big oversteer? Uh, sure, you know what? I'll take it. I think it's now made it a slightly better family sport. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit better. Just gone, I've gone outright speed. It's 18 miles a gallon. Uh, it's not great. It could probably be a little bit lighter. It's actually a bit heavier, I guess. Um... Yeah, I guess this is not a particularly small car uh, overall. Uh, didn't really, didn't really quite go according to uh, according to plan with uh, with this one. I kind of hoped I could have done a little bit better in terms of um, uh, in in terms of kind of yeah economy or whatnot. But uh, nope, turns out I'm not so good. I'm not quite sure. Oh, we could do with a bit more in the way of rear end grip, I think, but I'm not perfectly sure on what we go. Why don't we go with, okay, let's go with sport tyres. Does that make us 
better in terms of some of this stuff. Not a hundred percent sure on it. Uh, I'm going to be honest. So the, the tires are at nine point five percent, and if we go with that medium compound tires, tires are minus eight point six. So some of this stuff I'm not a hundred percent sure on. So if we go with the hard compound tires. It's eight point six as well, but it fails. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what all of these. <laughs> So I'm just trying to figure out what's positive and what's negative with what you're doing is very, very difficult. Of course, you know, there's a lot of different categories, don't get me wrong. However, with some of this stuff, I'm not sure, like where it's saying, on the suspension of wheels categories, where it's saying tyres. Now, is that negative because of it, it's not good for uh, for grip or it's not good for comfort? And this is talking about drivability, so... Semi-slick tyres, are they less drivable because it might be on a normal road where the road surface isn't perfect? Or, yeah, I don't... <laughs> Perhaps a little bit more expansion on what some of this stuff means would be a little bit helpful. Um, power to weight is apparently positive, but gearbox is terrible. Why is gearbox terrible? It's it's a manual gearbox. Do you want me to have an automatic? Is that what you're after? Uh, I don't know. So gearbox is now... 1.1 as opposed to if we go on just to check a couple of things uh, minus 1.1 as opposed to now minus so you want me to have a gearbox for drive a bit of automatic gearbox for nah no I don't agree with you game I uh, completely and utterly disagree on I mean yeah manual uh, sorry automatic is easy I guess are we looking ah okay so it, has, it doesn't improve it there because we're looking at uh, drivability I guess so yeah Basically, they're assuming everyone's lazy and wants an automatic, but for sportiness, it is good. Uh, brake fade is a little bit of a problem, I guess. Maybe give the thing a bit bigger, bit bigger brake, a bit bigger brakes on there, and then maybe give them a bit more cooling. Or I don't think we have options to go to. Yeah, we don't have options. Maybe we'll go for vented discs at the back as well. That might help with a little bit of the brake fade issues. Yeah, okay, so that's giving it down to 0% on that. So that's up the sportiness slightly. Um, ah, we've got green! It's apparently a lightweight premium car. <laughs> well, vaguely green. It, it's sort of around the, the track area. It's a little bit too... It's probably a little bit too expensive to be a general run, not fancy enough to be a premium one. Uh, would probably fail miserably in a... Uh, <laughs> Probably fail. I quite like. It. I'm, I'm happy with the visual design. The engine's not so good. I, I think I should have gone for something a bigger engine, uh, potentially. But it does not to. It does top speed 144 miles an hour, not 60 in 6.9 seconds. It is kind of an MX-5 rival. I think it's a little bit too expensive, perhaps. And terror. I'm going to ignore the miles a gallon stat from now on. We're just not going to care about it. It's not important. <laughs> so there we go. That was a. Um, LMP LMP style car as an MX-5 rival. It's, um, yeah, an interesting one. An interesting one indeed. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.